all, in this video I'll explain the main code of text in audio. Just check the playlist of this project to understand the remaining part of this code. Now when you open the main.m file you can see this code. You need not worry about the length of the code or number of lines because half of it is auto generated by MATLAB itself. Let us see how. Go to file, new, select GUI and select the blank GUI option and click on OK button. It will create a blank GUI. You might have seen the GUI of text in audio. It had two axes on the top, one for the audio and the other for the stego audio. So let us create an axis. So go and select the axis, then drag and drop. Now just save it. I am saving it on the desktop. And renaming it as sample. Now MATLAB will automatically open the file in the folder and here you can see the auto generated code. Let us check the auto generated code. Now if you compare the axis this auto generated code with the axis of text in audio you will notice that there is some difference. Let us see what changes should we do for that. Go to the main.m file. Now, you want the axis to be like this before doing anything on the GUI. That is, it should be like this when the GUI becomes visible to us. For that, go to the auto generated code and you will find something like this executes just before main is visible. Now, type the following lines in this function. Before explaining the meaning of these lines, let me tell you what are handles. Handles is a data structure that stores the variable data of the GUI objects. You will need handles to get and set the data into your GUI objects. Here, first we are taking a variable a which is equal to 1's 300,512. This means that a will have a matrix of 300 by 512 containing the value 1. Next, we are using the access function. To select the axis with tag axis1 to plot the graph. You can change the tag name by clicking the axis here and going to property inspector and changing the tag. You can change the tag here. You can see tag here is axis1. Now we have selected the axis, so by using I am show, we will display the created matrix on the axis selected, that is axis 1. We have created two axes, so now select the second axis, that is axis 2, and again display the matrix in it. This function ends here. Modified data will be lost while leaving the function, so to preserve any changes to the data in this in the handle structure we need to write this line that is gui data h object comma handles now like the axis you can also select a button in the gui and place it where you want matlab will auto generate the code of the button now when you click the button what action should take place has to be described in the callback function of the auto generated code. Let us check the auto generated code of the button input audio. Here you can see the callback of input audio. Here 
we have taken an array containing file name and the path name and we use ui get file function which will display a dialog box that lists the files in the current directory and enables the user to select the file so the type of the file selected would be a dot wav format and pick an audio will be displayed next line uses an is equal function to compare if the file name is 0 or the path name is 0 if it is 0 that is the file name is not selected then a warning dialog box should appear saying audio is not selected if the input audio is selected then the else part will be executed where we use the wave read function to read the audio file containing in file name into a variable called a then using the access we will select the access 1 and plot this audio to transfer the data of gui objects between callbacks of different buttons we must use handles so here we are transferring the file name and the audio into a handles so that we can use it in the callback of embedding button then finally we will preserve the changes and a help dialog box will appear saying input audio is selected next we will define what should happen when we press the button of secret data again we use a ui get file to select the text containing the secret data if the text file is not selected then a warning dialog box will appear saying the text file is not selected if you have selected the text file then open the file using f open in read mode here we have used r here to open it in read mode then f read will read the data in binary format from the file specified by fid into f and then char is used to convert it from binary to character array and this secret data is stored in variable s and finally we close the text file using f close then again we will pass the contents of s and f to handles reserve the changes and finally display a help dialog box saying text file is selected the remaining part of the code will be explained in the next video